So bring you guys a brand new video and today guys I have a brand new topic to talk to you guys about no this is not March Madness I know the recent videos have been there will be another March Madness it may go up before or after this video but this is about RG3 as my phone goes off RG3 signed a two-year 15 million dollars contract with the Browns and hence the new nickname RG Clee RG Clee not RG3 and so that is his new nickname. I think I will be watching a lot of Browns. They've gone through a lot of quarterbacks in the past couple years. I don't really think RG3 is their solution. But as you guys can see in the background, I'm playing with RG3. That was pretty cool. And um, I plan to put gameplay behind all my sports videos. Obviously, I couldn't for March Madness because there's no NCAA video game. But, yeah. So, um, RG3, and that's, I mean, that's nuts. He is with the Cleveland Browns. And it said something that the Denver Broncos were not interested in RG3 because of his character. So, I think it has something to do with the kind of person he was. He was cocky. I know he was kind of a dick towards uh, Kirk Cousins. Didn't really want to talk to him. Never, never really accepted him. And I mean, <clears throat> when I say that, that was like from day one. Like, like he was unhappy. I mean, this probably has nothing to do with it, even if, they don't, if it's like a small part. But still, like, day one, as soon as they drafted RG3, they did, They then drafted Kirk Cousins, I believe, in like the fourth round. He was upset because they drafted another quarterback in that draft, and he didn't like that. He wanted to be the solo quarterback, and uh, he wasn't very happy about that. But uh, Redskins fans are uh, they're pretty darn happy about it now that um, they did sign Kirk Cousins. And also, yes, they did re-sign Kirk Cousins and all that. Um, the main subject for this is going to be RG3, but yes, so RG3 with the Browns, extremely excited for him, going to watch a lot of Browns, still a fan of RG3, just because he left the Redskins, I think he can do good stuff, maybe, that may, have been, that may have been a lie. Kirk Cousins is a very good quarterback, though, and I mean, think about it, Tom Brady was drafted in, I believe, the seventh round, and uh, he's the best right now, and he's, he's in there with the greatest of all time, so, alright, <clears throat> so now... We're going to get into another co topic after I already talked about Kirk Cousins, RG3. Like I said, it's going to be an extremely short video I made, not even said that. But, now we're getting to it. My Washington Capitals are going to the playoffs. Obviously, they're freaking unbelievable. I have not made any, I made this channel so I could just talk about the Capitals. Because after games, I sit there and talk to myself for hours. Like, let's freaking go. You know what, that's, that's why I made this channel. I haven't talked about them yet. They're not even the main topic for this video. But we're still going to talk about it. And I have one more topic that I just want to bring up because I was pretty, wow. But yes, we clinched the playoffs. And when we clinched, not only did we clinch, but we clinched the conference. We are 14 points ahead of the entire NHL and 17 points ahead of just our conference. That's nuts. <coughs> okay. That's crazy. That is huge. And also, Braden Holpe with the win last night <coughs> um, is now... Four wins away from breaking the record for most wins in a season for a goaltender set by Marty Brodeur. The Caps have the most road wins in franchise history, I believe. Um, just all kinds of crazy stuff. Just an amazing year for the Caps this year. Um, and I think Barry Trotz has done an extremely good job. But real quick, I just want to talk about the freaking Devils-Caps game, which was well, last night, um, which would have been on the 25th of March. That Stevenson, or Stevenson, played unbelievable. He's a, a young goaltender. I think he started his first game last weekend or something and won. Um, and then he had a shutout two days later. And I think this was his third game against the Caps. And uh, he played phenomenal. Great game from him. Um, but then uh, John Carlson in overtime. It was 0-0 the entire thing. If you guys didn't know, John Carlson has been out for a whole month. Um, came back his first game back. He had a slapper and OT to win it. So that was pretty cool. Um, extremely good game. Great job for John Carlson. Extremely hyped for my caps. But as I'm talking right now, um, Oklahoma is playing. Um, my, my computer just froze for some reason. Or uh, Oregon is playing Oklahoma at the moment. So I'm going to go watch the rest of that. I think it's half right now. Um, I'm right after this. I'm probably going to record a video about the uh, Sweet 16 because uh, I did I did not do as well as I thought I wanted to. But yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you go check out JD's Productions if you have not yet. It has been your boy Jackson, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Video.